hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to design a business flyer for social media before any further ado let's get started so here i'm going to use four by four inches for social media then my resolution is going to be 300 i'll leave it like that then click on create okay now i'm going to pick a polygon then my number is six then you drag it like this you drag it like this then i'm going to select outline color i'm going to use this color here then i will increase the line to five then and i'm going to select this one here two by one okay now this is what i have okay i will take my cursor to this location you click then you see you rotate it you can see how i rotate it now I'm going to drag it up. Hope you can see it. Then I will rotate it this way, like this. Then I will expand it a bit. Click OK. Then this is how it come out. All right. Now this one i'm going to duplicate it ctrl j then this first one i will reduce it i will take this one to here because i'm going to use this one for the logo then this one will remain here okay now that we have this one we are going to duplicate this one again drag it here or you type con or press ctrl j on the keyboard now you reduce it the size this way okay now i'm going to remove the the line i'm going to remove this line click here to remove the line all right this is for fill color i will apply the fill color then meanwhile i will go back to this one then remove the fill color to zero percent okay here i'll bring this one a little bit to the front use by using your arrow key okay then I will duplicate this one again, Ctrl J. Then, like this. I will use my arrow key then to drag it. Now I have something like this. Then I will change this color to something maybe like this. Okay. Now that I have this one, then what I will do next again, I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Then change the color to some something like white like this okay 
then reduce it like this okay all right now we have something like this then what i'm going to do again i'm going to click on this one and the black one then i will rasterize it and convert it to smart object then sorry control z i will convert it to smart object convert the black to smart object or you rasterize them directly okay this is how it come out now that i have it this way then what i'm going to do now i'm going to hold down my control key then i will click on this white one then you will see a line there then i will go and pick my eraser tool okay then i'll come back to this black one here then i will erase it you will not see what i'm doing let me off this one you see how i erase it all right then Ctrl D to deselect. Then now, see, this is what I have. Okay, now that I have something like this, then I'm going to bring my image. I'm going to bring this image to Photoshop. Then drag it here. Then scale it out. Then position it well okay then right click here click create a clipping mask then this is what i have now i'm going to duplicate this black ctrl j or drag it here then i'll take it up then i'll take it up like this I'll drag this one down like this. Okay. Then drag this one up a bit. Then something like this. Okay. Now I'll select this one. Then I'm going to reduce the fill color. Then to let me say 45 all right 45 is okay then i will have a line there okay now that i have it this way all right the next thing i'm going to do is here now then the same way i do to this place that is the same thing i'm going to do here but it's not going to be all the only thing now is to bring to add this color here then i will duplicate this one then reduce the size remove the outline color then i'm going to apply a c color like this okay now I'm going to duplicate this one again ctrl j then i will reduce this one then i'm going to apply another color i will come here to select a color like this it's okay then something like this all right then select your test tool i'm going to type company name company name so the white is color the font is color that is why you did not see it 
now i will take it to up here like this then i will reduce the size then i will apply a bold okay now then i'm going to bring i have one logo here i'm going to use this logo which i have here then this logo is not a real logo just for a tutorial then position the logo then something like this i will use my arrow key then to drag it down like this I'll position it then use your horizontal and vertical oh sorry sorry okay hold your shift key then you drag this one down now i have something like this so the next things i'm going to do i'm going to bring a background color then before then i'm going to group this one together then you name it design or image now that we have like this then i'm going coming back to my background then you click here then go to your solid color then i will select this color here then i will make it more darker like this then i'll click ok ok now here i'm going to draw a round rent angle shape something like this now i'm going to remove the fit color to zero percent then apply outline color then i'll make it five then i'm coming here to select this one Then I will come to this place, remove this key so that you can apply a number without all of them. I'm going to use 107 here. Yeah. You can see how the shape turn. Then I'll come here to apply 107. Then you see how it is. Right. It's too much let me reduce it to something like 73 yeah 73 okay now this is what i have all right I mean, press it a bit like this. Then I will duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then hold your Alt key, then you drag it this way. Then you have something like this. Then this one now, I'm going to remove the outline color.
then apply i'm sorry i'm going to remove the dash dash then apply a straight line a straight one so now it's straight not on not the former dash dash again so now i have it this way then i'm going to duplicate this one again ctrl j then hold down your alt key then you drag it this way like this now there's something i'm going to do then i'm going to increase this one to something like 97 then here again 97 97 by 97 then i will reduce reduce it this way okay now this is what i have now that i have this this one like this then i'll drag this one and group it then i will rename it maybe image two now the first two i will convert it to smart object then rasterize it okay now i have it like this then I'm going to select my lesser two. Then I'll click like this. I'll drag it like this. Then I'm going to delete. Then Control D. So I have something like this. All right now i'm going to put an image in this rectangle here now i'm going to bring the image i will bring this image then scale it then apply a fit color okay now we have make it to be effect now then come to this place then you apply clipping mask now our image is inside This is the name I'm going to use. All right. Then I will select this one. Make it a capital letter. All right. Now this is what I have. Then I'm going to make it closer. Number four. Four is okay. Then I'm going to select this image. 
I will duplicate it. drag it this way then I'm going to reduce the size to enable me add another image sorry All right, now this is what I have. Then okay, now that I have it this way, then what I'm going to do now, I will come to this place, then bring an image. I will reduce this image reduce the image I'm going to fast forward here so that it will not take us much time All right. Make sure it's aligned. Now, I'm going to copy this test here. The font I'm using here is real well and I'm going to change this one, the font here, to geometric. Then I will change the con font to this color here. Then and I will change the font to railway. Then 
then make it medium I make it medium. All right. I'm going to reduce it this way. Then I'll select my test. Then I'll drag it. Then drag it down so that other heading tests will come out. Now, this is what I have. Okay. Now that we have the test like this. I think I'm going to change it to white color. White color will be nice. Yeah. White color. I think white color is okay. Then I'll come here. I will copy the test here. And I'll come down. Then think it's okay change the color to this color here then i'm going to paste the test i copy i will change the test color to this color here drag it here you expand it, make it big, then I'm going to use bold, the test, the font I'm using here is railway, okay. I'm going to use font geometric again, then paste. Then this time I'm going to change the color to this color here. Then drag it. Then duplicate it, Ctrl J. light it i'm going to change the font to railway
please don't forget to subscribe like and share